Now check this out. Check this out. So this is the hall of Yujio. Some early books. Yeah, yeah, controllers and great covers, great covers, some early books. I always knew Chicho was sitting on Millions controllers. <laughs> The, good deal it was pretty good deal right i have the superman one but i need the bat elder god says the batman one yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta get it <laughs> so check this out this is i bought these right it came out to uh 90 dollars was a bid and then there's like 18 dollars on top of that it was like tax and their fees so it came out to like again another hundred uh, what was it? Hundred, let's say hundred twenty dollars, right? Hundred twenty dollars for these. Okay. So let me show you what these are. So this is, I believe, counterfeit, right? Fake UGO uh, Blazing Vortex cards, and there's packs in this, right? There's packs in this, unopened packs, and there's like four different colors. And I. I, I believe these are fake. I'm pretty sure these are fake, right? Blazing Vortex are not fake. Yeah, crazy, right? So there's these guys, right? There's how many? Four yellow ones, right? Maybe we do a live stream where we open these guys up, even though they're fake. We'll, and you guys can tell me if they're fake or not. So four, five yellow ones. There's four orange ones, right? Opening these packs used to be the best thing. I'm birdie here, says. Okay. Uh, there's two blue ones. I finished it. Well, if they are fake, they're they basically worthless. I don't know. I don't know, right? Some counterfeit stuff still goes for some money. I don't know. New packs smell. That new pack somehow. <laughs> Not that it says. And then there's four green ones, right? Yeah, so I don't know if I got ripped off on this deal or not. I just wanted to get it. <laughs> I just wanted to get it. <laughs> Galaxy One, remember the time when um, I bought a new uh, B, <laughs> B plane? <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, pink oh wow there are only 1,000 of those boxes last time I checked they're selling for $1,300 per, per box serious I think these are fake man I, I don't know if they're fake or not <laughs> like, like seriously I went into this with minimal research but when I got these I started looking into this and then I went oh wait a second these are fake or maybe fake I don't know I think they're fake right so I was like okay uh, I mean, the bottom's like this, so I don't know, right? Uh, I bought these for, let's say, 120 Canadian. That's around uh, 85 US, right? 85 US. Now, check this out. It's got a rule book, Hexors. I don't know. Yujiro Hexors. It's really good shape. Yujiro, Yujiro fans. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> it's real if you want it to be. Ha ha. <laughs> Check uh, looseness of plastic wrap. Check looseness of plastic wrap. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Some of these, like, is that loose? I don't know. So, see, check this out. Some like they have these little holes in the back. I don't know if that's from packaging or them sitting around or whatnot. I was more a bagogon guy, or however you spell that. <laughs> Android says the silly transformer balls. Uh, Galaxy one. My bakugans always broke. I don't know, even know what bakugans is. Oh my God, uh, is the TV series with same name related? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same name, Elder God. Now check this out. The main reason I bought these is because they had these Japanese cards in there, right? They're in rough shape, but I don't know if they're real or not. Like, 
I'm assuming these Japanese ones are real, but they may not be real. I don't know. Right? And I'll show you. We'll take a look at these. So here's one of them. I looked online, and these ones don't have the number at the bottom here. So I don't know if these are these are real or not power ranger says exodia yeah 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 this is one of the main ones that i looked at it was like what so is this for real or not and i put it in the plastic bag by the way i have these plastic bags uh yo you they the egyptian god cards right so there's this guy right so you guys let me know is this is this for real or not right and then the back, check it out. Would be funny if that's a casual grand worth of something. Yeah, it would be, it'd be hilarious. I was like, screw it, man. I'm going with this thing. I was, I was too old when the cars came out in 19. Uh, oh, there's a plastic bag that flew down. Uh, I missed out if you played all five of them instant win <laughs> is that what it is check this one out uh, again Japanese I have no idea what this is right real or fake who knows well someone knows I don't know right I have no idea again the backs are all the same I think they're all the same anyway right there's this one yeah I think the five it's the whole body parts it's got two arms two legs and a thingamajigi right oh check this out I didn't know this air match says holes in booster packs usually means they have been opened and resealed then poke to release the air really is that what it is that's interesting to know right uh mr pinks chicho you are the full package my man <laughs> i watch all your videos oh, was it this one's like look at this totally rough totally like like torn right uh, I watch all your videos from food, liqueur, and cigars to comics and manga and politics. But now you you whip out the Yojigo cards. This is peak content. My life is complete. <laughs> Hilarious. Check this out. Right? Check this out. Real or fake? I have no idea. <laughs> Elder God, honk, honk. Uh, Picnic new. This shit keeps rising high in this world. I just hope I won't be present when it finally fills the mouth. <laughs> Look at this one. Look, it's got writing on it. Right. And then there's the, the hand. Oh my god, I found Master Game. <laughs> like, this part is like cut out. So I was assuming that these, I'm assuming that these ones are real because they're pretty rough, right? But they may not be, I don't know, right? It's, de <laughs> oh, <dear God. laughs> it's definitely Japanese on the cards. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Gotta love it. Master Came Smoothie says, first time chat, I got to pour myself more tequila. I'm going to pour myself more tequila before I show you the, the cards in here and the, in the, in the bag let's pour ourselves a little bit more drink <laughs> smoothie i love you <laughs> hilarious we're going neat neat is delicious for now anyway i got a bowl of ice here maybe we'll put ice in it why not no no let's stick with neat neat is good neat is good salute gang to Master Kame <laughs> and Yoji Yoji Ho cards. Cheers. Cheryl, I came across a card every now and again. 
behind the couch in a bin of off-season clothes and some uh, recently between the seats in the back of my car. Definitely in the back of your car. What you been doing in the back of the car, Cheryl? <laughs> what? <laughs> Definitely no longer mint condition. That's okay. Some of these cars in mint condition, I looked at these. I don't know if these are it, the real ones anyway. They go for like 50 grand, 25 grand, right? 10 grand, 8 grand. Check these guys out, right? So there's... This is full of cards, right? So, for example, this one. This is Blue-Eyed White Dragon, right? I looked up this one, and this one, you know, it's not in mint condition. It's got, on the back, it's got a little crease there, right? So, I don't know if this is real or fake, but it looks real. It's got everything on there that's supposed to be on there, right? Oops. Let's see if we can focus it. So check that out. Real or fake game. Right? Show tequila. I'll show the tequila tequila air man. Right? So there's 37 pages of these cards. This is the tequila. Espolon. Espolon. It's really nice. It's really nice. Okay. It's really nice. So, I was happy. Right? And I think what we'll do, we'll take a look at these under and where we read our comic books. Right? That's real. That one is real. That's great, Mr. Pink's. Awesome. I assume the cards in the binder are legit. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking as well. I want to know about the Japanese ones though. So, I don't know if you guys know any of these cards. Like, right? <laughs> Cheryl. I knew you were going to come back with your uh, comment. Smoothie, thank you very much for the follow. The back seat of the car. Uh, Cheryl says, Chicho, not me. Some grubby-handed little dude <laughs> that dropped the back there years ago. <laughs> Eating ice cream, most likely. <laughs> right? Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> Pink, congratulations on making $1 million in one day. <laughs> The binder is real. Yes, they look fine. Really? That's great. So I got a Yoshiho set. Right. So I don't know if there's any major collectible cards here. There are some that are in really rough shape and some that are in really good shape. Like, look at this one. Right. Can you pull out the dark magician from the first page okay sure here i'll show you this one ancient elf right so this one's not bad the, the back looks great ancient elf right so pink you know your cards okay let's check this out dark magician let's see if we can find the dark magician dark magician yeah here is a dark magician powerful? I'm assuming these little things on top are his power. Let's see. Dark magician. Asian <laughs> help is not looking at the over 400. <laughs> How to spot fake Yoji card? Oh, yeah, that's real. 100% real. Nice. It's got a crease on the back, right? So check that out. So it's not in great shape, that's for sure. So I'm assuming these guys up here, right? They're the power of the dude, of the card. That's 100% real. Nice. Excellent. So how do you know? Well, anyway, it's super cool. 
That's 100% real. Nice. There's the magic elf here. Let's pull out these ones. Battle worn, battle worn. So I'm assuming the ones that are in rough condition would be the for sure real, which is why I was assuming the Japanese ones would be real, right? Finished dude. I got a card collection as well, but they have no value. But the design are just so cool in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I have some cards as well that they don't have value. They just I just love them. Right? real Android X battle worn real like look at those indeed and I just found out that uh, the designer the artist for these because I uh, the, we started down this rabbit hole because someone asked how do you stay motivated researching stuff I got these things and I started looking into it, right? I started reading articles, checking price guys, looking about the fakes and not fakes and stuff like this. And then I found out that the original artist for these Yoji Ho cards died in a boating accident last year, I believe, or in the last two years, which is unfortunate. Uh, so the artist, the original artist for these Yoji Ho cards, um, if I read it correctly, if I understood it correctly, Padre, those look like all old school cars too. Really cool find. Yeah, I liked it. It was it was great. They are not just assorted either. Looks like a mostly complete set. Oh, really? Android prices went mysteriously up. Oops. Oh, there's another one of those blue eyed white dragon. There's another blue eyed white dragon there, too. I know the blue eyed this guy was selling for like $10, $15. I saw one go for like $20 or something. <laughs> Birdie here. Now I'm going to eBay looking at UOGO cards. Hilarious. <laughs> Spot of tea was just lurking like a ghost from the past ah spot of tea how are you doing brother i hope you're doing well i hope you're doing well by the way spot of tea we're slowly gonna reduce the political talks and get more into the collectible and readings and gardening stuff right and some skull nice and which one's some skull <laughs> i don't know <laughs> You scoundrel eBay. I'll scoundrel wish. Nicholas Chicho, please do a video of the Yoji O cards with an overhead shot of the car. For sure, that's the plan. I, like, I really didn't plan on showing these today, right? Uh, I wanted to show them really close up, right? They look great. They look great. They've, all I can say is if someone. Sh really love these cards and i believe this was someone I, I think it was a reseller that i bought it from right now it was a reseller that i bought it from right so whoever owned these cards uh just uh sending a message into the void the ripples they found a happy home okay with me so if you love these cards if there was a lot of love in these cards thank you very much for putting the love in these cards because you made a chicho happy right and uh, they will they will get love in return okay mr pinks the ones with the first edition will be worth more they are all classic uh old cars from the first set but a lot of them could be reprints how do you know if they're reprints or not right there's two of these ones. I seen. I think I've seen more of that one. So I'm guessing there's multiple of some of these. Is because the person that was collecting these was buying the packs, and you get repeats, right? They're not all different, right?
1996. I believe 1996 was the first edition. That's the first set that came out, I believe. I'd buy anything with a burn mark. At least that is sure legit with a burn mark. What's a burn mark? Is the little, uh, what do you call it? The holograph thing, the burn mark? Like just the learning process of this is amazing, right? Uh, right? For the video you make of them, you should separate the shiny cards as they are likely to be worth more. Uh, by shiny, I mean the artwork will be holographic. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Nah, I'm fooling around. Oh, are you fooling around, right? Oh, look like a hamburger monster. Patra says. Is there any holograph? Oh, there's a holograph. Is that a holograph? One? I don't know if there's a holograph one in here. Blue eyed toon dragon. There's a blue eyed toon dragon. First, uh, so Air Mass says first edition. Notice the square at the bottom. Right. Gold or silver colored? Uh, silver, silver. Oh, and there's some gold too. There's silver and gold. Yeah, there's silver and gold. I'm assuming gold is first edition. Uh, Mr. Pink's. You can tell if they are reprints if they don't have first edition under the artwork between the picture and the textbook below it. Do you have to say first edition or this is just uh, you can tell if they are reprints if they don't have first edition under the artwork. Yeah, these have numbers on them. Like the blue white eye dra whatever blue eyes white dragon has D S D K zero zero one on it. It doesn't say first edition. I haven't seen anything that says first edition yet. Cool. Gold is limited or first edition. Ah, okay. Silver for all others. Okay. <laughs> Pink, thank you for finding my old card collection. They got taken, taken when my house was burglared. <laughs> awesome so gold hold on what was it gold gold is limited or first edition okay silver for all others silver for others so there's a lot of silver here but there was some gold as well right first edition will be on the left so card code code is on the right yeah yeah that's the card code i don't see any first edition No, I don't see any first edition yet. Okay. Thank you for that, by the way, gang. You guys are giving me more info than I could find online. I think that might be from a starter deck. Alaga, Chicho, I agree. We need more collectible streams to give happiness back. Indeed. Hamburglard. Hamburglard. Oh, there's a first edition here. Check this out. Ah, we found one. So if there's one, there must be more. Or there may be more. Or we hope there will be more. So check this one out. Black Wing Abrahol's the Mega Quake. This one is first edition. Check it out. See that? First edition. That's cool. Thank you for that. Now we know. And it's got the holograph. Oh, that's cool. When I look at it myself, the holograph just seems silver. Yeah, Chicho is a, sort of a nickname I picked up. It's a many years ago. First edition. It sounds like the word from uncle in Bulgarian. Yeah, yeah. Other people have come in and said it sounds like a, it means uncle. 
in Bulgarian, which is great. I'm an uncle too. Air match for those with gold foil and no first edition. It means the card is from a limited edition series with no additional runs of that card are made. Woohoo! Right on. That sounds like a collectible to me, <laughs> Mr. Pring. Yeah, it makes sense as first edition cars from that time would most likely be graded and sold separately. Okay, we found one first edition. That's good. Black Lotus goes for thousands if you have it. Black Lotus. Oh, I'll have to look for it. Uh, I'm just looking for first edition right now. <laughs> but limited sounds good too, right? Which is the first edition card? It was um, this one. Black. The top one here. This one. That one. Let's see if it made it focused. Right. Oh, black. Yeah. Oh, Black Lotus is Magic the Gathering. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Black Lotus is Magic the Gathering. Oops, I lost my place. Where was I? Okay, well, I can't remember if I was there or here. No, I sure just, I've already flipped through two of these. Any first editions? No first editions. There's a robot fish there. Oh, unfortunately, the black black wing card looks fake so i think most of the cars in the binder might be fake oh really but most of them look real might be fake but most of them look real most of them are from older sets but the black wing car came out way after the other cars in the binder so fake may have been mixed up with them oh really okay how do you know it's fake how do you know it's fake That's one thing I couldn't figure out. How do you know it's fake? Maybe fake on, in this binder's first edition. <laughs> the knowledge of chat, yeah, of the yin yang. <laughs> Should just send the black card to me in order to <laughs> make sure. Circle 2003, okay, okay. The stars above the image look weird and the text is a lot uh, thicker than the others oh let's check it out good knowledge good knowledge where is that card there it is okay so this one is the same thickness of the text so again this these two might be fake as well <laughs> grow forest just arrived is that a binder of yoji <laughs> yeah. it is indeed it is indeed some fake some real <laughs> some grow forest says the way to check is by referencing the colors okay See, check this one out. This is also says first edition. This one also says first edition. Koki Mu Overdose. And it's a lot nicer, right? So it says first edition. So because of text color, so the text is too thick. If someone has played these, you would know that this was fake right okay okay good to know because you can look at this one here i'll do a comparison to you guys watch this because this is from the same thing all right check it out let me hold this up oh 
Oh, and look at that. Wow, the back could be just because of coloring. Let's see if this will focus. Come on. Very hard getting a focus like this. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it like this. And then look at the back. But this one's more worn out. So look at the back. The, and this one's less worn out. But the outside rim of the color is less faded. See? Check that out. Check that out. So this one, real. This one, fake. Right? Real, fake. Possibly. We have an expert here. So real, fake. The colors are off. This one's redder, the coloring on there. Nice, Mr. Pinks. All the older cars in the uh, binder look real though, but it seems there are some newer cars mixed in the binder and the newer ones I've seen uh, that have first edition on them definitely look fake awesome good to know so these newer ones might have been the fake packs that the person bought and they put it in here very nice to know very nice to know so we can actually possibly go through this and pull out the reels and the fakes very nice this is great info this is great info oh we put our cigar on the side i think we're going to you overtime <laughs> very nice yeah here's another first edition of masked hero divine wind right and it's the text is thicker so that's a great way to know that's a great way to know nice and karate man so mr pink says so karate man is real but the other one is fake so most of the cards in here are real they're not first editions but they're real right Check it out, check it out. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Information. Prowler Ranger. It looks like the foil square on the first edition isn't flush with the bottom of the card either. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, there's some first editions here that the text is darker. And then there's one here that the text is dark. Oh, check this out so the later binder so the text starts getting darker for the pages towards the end so the newer ones at the beginning of the binder the text is light colored oh there's one first edition here oh there's a couple that are darker oh there's some first dark color and then light color nice so that's the first step and separating the fake from the real very cool very cool but we'll keep on flipping we'll go through the whole binder I'll show it to you guys our corner is important um, looks a foil in the first okay it isn't flush okay Android I don't even care about car collections at all but the effort of chat and the excitement of Chicho is a wonderful nice nice I like it too I enjoy this this stuff really it's human artifacts right is this oh this is like this is like three missing here on this one mr pinks yeah the foil square on the bottom corner is important too for telling if they are fake or not okay cool 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 j pal chicho what's the character name on the one you think may be fake oh well from what we understand they're definitely fake the character name oh I lost it what was it it was uh, this guy Ko Koki Miru Overdose Koki Miru Overdose this one fake right 
Mr. Pink's. I still see a lot of older cars there. Uh, uh, cards later on in the binder. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. So as the saying goes, a fool and their money are easily parted, right? Were we a fool in buying these? Or was I a fool in buying these? Not we, me. <laughs> I don't think so. Just a pure joy I, I got out of this. And what I've learned from this, right? Education costs money. Really, gang. Cost time and time is money, right? In this case, it costs time and money, <laughs> right? But it's fun to do together. Fun to do together. Air match, well worth it. Well worth it. I think so too. Really, just just a... Like I spent like two and a half hours yesterday looking into this, right? The, the education to me is priceless. Android X. Oh no, what I, what I have, uh, what? No, oh no, what have I done? What have I done, Chijo? <laughs> what have you done? And then that's it. That's the end of the binder. But we we'll look at these under the, in our reading setup, gang. For sure we, we do. Okay, for sure we do. Let me put this guy here. Because this is, and I'm really curious about these Japanese cards. Really curious about these Japanese cards. Fun. The excitement and journey alone is priceless. Agreed, agreed. Power Ranger, um, build a deck and start playing for money. You have the cards to do. <laughs> nice. Mr. Pinks, I've seen multiple blue eyes dragon and dragon magician cards throughout, and they are hollows too. Depending on the condition of them alone, they can be worth uh, around 10 pounds each. So around 15 Canadian, I think. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Super fun. Super fun. Super. Thank you very much for the feedback, by the way, Mr. Pinks. I really appreciate it. It's uh, like just a, just learning. Just the learning process of it is fantastic for me. Uh, I love I'm. A, I love learning. I love experiencing new things. Uh, novelty, really, right? Uh, and this was great. This is great. Oh, God, we only talk the truth here, even if it's unpleasant information. Indeed, indeed. Salute, salute. Mr. Pinks, salute to you, brother, and everybody else that helps, helped and shared information. Thank you.